Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back to a quick beer review, uh, another budget beer. Um, I put up the review of Coors Light, and I talked about how Coors Light's my kind of go-to standby favorite light macro lager, and there were a lot of comments saying if I had not had it, I needed to drink Keystone Light, because Keystone Light is essentially Coors Light in a cheaper format. I don't know if I believe that, but we're going to find out. Never had this beer before. And here's the can. This is the can that caused Stone Brewing to not be independent anymore. <laughs> this is not the exact same can, but it's just... Hilarious to me every time I think about how dumb this thing was, but we don't need to talk about that in this video. Uh, Keystone Light, <clears throat> it is a uh, Coors, what is it, Miller Coors? No, Coors, yeah, is that right? I don't know. Whoever Coors is with uh, product, and it is, gosh, this light is killing me, 4.1%, which I think, is Coors Light 4.1 or 4.2? Just about the same, so we got that going for us. What else does it say? Oh, it just says Coors Brewing uh, Golden, Colorado. Um, I actually asked my dad about this when I saw him over the weekend. I was like, hey, you're a Coors Light drinker. Did you ever drink Keystone Light back in the day hearing it was the same thing but cheaper? And he said that uh, he had drank Keystone Light because it was cheaper uh, at times, but he says it's not the same beer he doesn't think. So um, he said a lot of his friends switched from Coors Light to Keystone Light because it was so much cheaper than Coors Light. I will say in today's beer world, <laughs> I was at a gas station. I had to randomly get gas after I dropped my oldest son off. Um, at baseball the other night, gas stations are no, not the place to get, um, deals for beer. They never have been in California anyways, but at the gas station, a 15 pack of Keystone light was $7. <laughs> That's insane. Very, very cheap. So I didn't want to commit to that many beers, but I was like, that was the only, that was all they had there. And I wasn't about to go drive around town looking for Keystone light. So I grabbed 15 of them. You know what? Fuck it. Why not? <laughs> so let's see. Uh, if this reminds us of Coors Light, I will say we will do a blind battle beers between Keystone Light and Coors Light, but let's drink it on its own first. Never had it. Um, I looked at the can before uh, starting this video. It said enjoy by January 2023, so plenty fresh. Um, it is crystal clear. It's really light, um, but it has that just American macro lager yellow hue to it. Uh, finger of fluffy, fluffy, bright white head. Plenty of carb um, in the glass. It actually looks good. So let's shove our fat nose in it. See what it smells like. It doesn't smell like much. It's grainy, um, but it just, I don't want to say it smells watery, but it smells watery to me. It's got a faint bit of that kind of American macro lager beer smell, but it's not intense by any means. I, I think I, I don't think this smells like Coors Light. I think Coors Light has more of a beer smell. This doesn't have, I mean, it has that beer smell, but it's just super faint, really light. Yeah, cereally grainy, um, just faint kind of macro lager uh, aroma. It smells watery and light. Cheers. So, it smelled very light, it tastes very light. Thankfully, it tastes a little bit um, more like beer than it smells, um, but not a whole lot. This is a super like non-offensive, mild, light macro lager. A um, little bit of sweetness on the finish. It's got a tiny bit of like that beer bite um, in the middle of your palate, but uh, this, you know, it drinks watery. It's not very flavorful, there's not a whole lot to it. I'm pretty sure I could tell the difference between this and Coors Light. I don't think this is the same beer. I did some reading and like someone was like, oh yeah, when they do Coors Light and it's in the tanks, the top half of it is Coors Light and the bottom half is Keystone Light. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense to me. It just doesn't make sense that Coors would have two products in different packaging, pay for having cans, but then just charge a lot less for the same exact beer. Like, I don't think it's the same beer. Um, I'm not mad at having 14 more cans of this. Like this is gonna be super easy to drink. I mean, it's 4%. I mean, it's spritzy and light on your palate, but not a whole lot to it. Not a lot of flavor. Um, it's just kind of grainy, watery, macro lager. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll drink this blind with Coors Light, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to tell uh, which one's which. But I guess we'll find out. That's why we do it. So, yeah, not much to this one. Keystone Light. It's light American beer. 
<laughs> that's what it is. So not offensive, no off flavors. Um, I, I guess if somebody wanted to like get into beer, this would be something you give them this or like natural light. Cause it's not going to be like overpowering in the beginning. Like maybe, I don't know. You guys Keystone Light fans. I don't hate it. It's just nothing special. Um, and I think that Coors Light's better than this, but we're going to put it to the test. So there's the can, the review's over. We drank Keystone Light finally. So uh, if you guys are fans, let's talk about it. Uh, and I will see you guys soon. Appreciate you watching. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. <laughs> Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.